Jeez, I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. It was an empty space the entire time. Makes you really cry. <laughs> a crying thonk. So here's a whole bunch of skins that we got for getting all the skull points. Those cost rare titanium, but here's a whole bunch of other stuff we need. Like multi torpedo launcher, and advanced shooting system, and the ultra charged shielding system, and the nuclear detonation device. Oh boy. Well, so out of our titanium. So that's 60 plus 45 plus 5. No, these are just wings. Okay, so. These are all decorative, so we need 105 more raritanium in order to get the scope point. DRD. <laughs> Lovely. Thankfully, Gorn exists. And the fastest way to get raritanium is to ship fight. And you don't like ship fight, so I'm going to do the ship fight for you. Until we hit 105. So that's 90 more raritanium. Are you gonna try and finish this game today? Uh, probably not, cause the final, cause it that involves beating the next planet and the final boss. Oh. I think we're gonna save that for its own thing and just and just pseudo random talks again while we collect so while we get the raritanium. I think that's the only way we can do things now. Probably. Yeah. Anything interesting to talk about? Uh, I mean, there was the Nintendo Direct that happened. Yeah, the Nintendo right. Direct that was delayed. The fucking Isabelle as a new Smash Bros. Oh, Isabelle is a think, Smash character. I think they're trolling us now. Oh, I'm getting a no, kick no, out they of... Tro they didn't troll us. I thought they trolled us, and then they'd say Animal Crossing was coming next year. And yeah, they, everything was just... That was, a, that was the double troll, too. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just... That, that Smash Direct was fucking wild, I'll tell you what. I'm getting a kick out of everyone's salt. That is... Uh, yeah, like, and this... in the end, I saw 475,000 people were watching. Yeah. That, that's the most I've ever seen on Nintendo Direct. And it's funny, because on the Discord, Discord I was, someone posted a picture of the Google image... Google image... Uh, Google uh, search statistics, right? And like, and and the the search criteria was uh, Isabel Rule Thirty Four. Oh no! And no! Just shot no! No! Straight up! No! And it just shot straight up after the direct. Uh, thanks, Rule Thirty Four. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I did a voice recording of myself oh. when that was announced. A voice recording of yourself. Yeah, oh, for reactions. Yep. Yeah. Nintendo Directs are the best for those kind of, th those of things. That one was a legendary Directs. <laughs> Unfortunately, I thought it was kind of boring at first. The 3DS was not that impressive. I mean, they're not, they're I mean, not developing for 3DS anymore, are they? Yeah. I mean, the 3DS only really has some like ports coming for it these days. Yeah, not yeah that's what I thought. But like, why is this whole Nintendo Direct ports in, in the very beginning? Because it's 3DS. They want to get it out of the way quick. Yeah, because it's the boring stuff. You start with the boring yeah. stuff first. You don't want to blow your wad. Come on. That's for the that's for the Isabel Rue 34. I'm going to hell. Oh, what if we're already in hell? Oh wait. Not fa not false. <laughs> Mephistopheles did say that everything that is in heaven is hell. Here's Mephistopheles to say, oh god damn it. <laughs> okay, okay, what do you guys think about the Nintendo Switch online segment? Uh, piece of shit. Meh. I, I don't really have a need to play online these days unless it's like I'm playing something on PC. And besides, online right now for gaming is kind of bullshit. But if you're not on PC, that is. I just buy a year just to see see what it's like, and because I have roommates, you may want to try it. Fair enough. Yeah. You at least have some form of I reason. Mean, I be, don't. I mean, if you're going to be in college, chances are someone's going to bring something. Yes. Because everyone's rich. <laughs> everyone's rich when you get to college. That's a fact. But then the fact they have NES controllers for the Switch now is just. Whatever, man. That's just that's just a whole bunch of. Crap. I mean, it lines up with the uh, with the data mining of the leaked firmware for Switch. Yeah. 
But I don't understand, why would you want to buy a controller for something you can only use on a subscription thing? Because some people will pay for anything? Yes, yeah. they know exactly what they're doing, Nintendo. I mean, they, they do them. They are doing them and they're making a shit ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> At least Smash comes out when I actually get out of this term that's coming up. This term, huh? So this quarter? Yeah, it actually comes out on December 7th. Shit. That's the final day of what? my... That's the final day of my quarter. Shit, man. Dang. So that means when we get back, we can look at the game for two seconds and then get back to playing Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, pretty sure Quad's gonna be... Pretty sure Quad's gonna be available. Yeah. I, I think I have another week. Another week? Okay. I mean, I'm down for most Sophie, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna be here. I'm gonna be gone for later. Really? Gone for later? Okay. Cause I get to go back to college this week, oh boy! I get to, yeah, See? me too. We're all a college system, right? I assume so. Alright. We're at 43 now. Hmm. I so did. Me... We're Mario Party, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, Super Mario Party? Yep. Super Mario Party? Because it looks like they're finally getting sane again. Yeah, they're, Bring... they're finally going back to the regular style. Yeah. Regular style? Uh, so you mean no luck based minigames? No, as in like regular board game style. Uh, what did they do beforehand? Um, strange things. Okay then. That involved everyone being on the same spot forever. And by the same spot, I mean everyone's together. Wait, wasn't there the wasn't there the Mario Party game that was just the minigames? That was yeah. for 3DS. That was for 3DS, okay. No one really speaks of that one. <laughs> I mean, no one bought it, so... Yeah. Oh, the, no the, those it. who did were just... My disappointment's immeasurable, my day is ruined. ruined. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was... Okay. Thanks, game. That's fine. We'll see how fun it is to do inverse Mario Party that. <laughs> oh, dear. I think, I think we can only play inverse. <laughs> Otherwise, it would just be t too unfair for the AI. Well, we gotta do it normally first, yeah, just to I see guess. what it's like. Then we do inverse. Then we do inverse. Gotta lay down the groundwork first. Yes. Well, we have to unlock all the mini games, probably. Well, that too. You know, you know, when I was first playing, uh, when I was first playing uh, Super Mario uh, Mario Party Eight, right? I did. I I, I had like only two, like uh, one versus three mini games unlocked. Oh. Right. Ooh. And that, that was and that was for and that was for a goddamn long while, right? It, took, it was like for at least three months. I I only unlocked two two of the one versus three mini games, and then I watched and then I watched a couple people playing uh, playing. Uh, I think it was TRG. I was watching TRG playing uh, Mario Party One, I think. And then after I watched those watched those videos, I started getting all the one versus threes. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be interesting to play Mario Party again. Yeah. We haven't done really? that in quite a while. Although Mario Party is our, Mario Party is kind of more kid kiddy kiddy stuff because there's only so you can only get good at you can only get so good at the mini games. Eh. That that's when you start playing drunk Mario Party. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. That's true. If you're if you're if you're if you're going to be that one Mario Party expert, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna ruin everything. <laughs> That's being like an expert at freaking. That's like counting cards in freaking in freaking house poker. <laughs> Who the hell does that shit, man? Now watch this. I lose even when everyone else is drunk, and I'm sober. <laughs> I, I can see that happening. Okay. I mean, that's. I mean, I know people who focus more when they're drunk. And those people are usually in college, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's Can you imagine it's someone years. showing up to someone showing up to like a test drunk? Not really, because that seems like a bad idea for most people. I know someone who went to lecture on high. That was a weird that's, story. That's never gonna that. I would never see that. That's never gonna be a thing at the college I'm at because federal laws. I mean, federal laws, but it happened at the college I am at, with also federal laws. So, you know... 
Not always a done deal. Eh, campus... Camp, I, I've seen campus security in action, so... Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I've heard of a guy getting high in class. It wasn't, it wasn't even a good high. Oh. <laughs> oh no. A guy freaking got violent and passed out on the spazzed out on the floor. Rip. So I'm thinking he probably took one of those angels trumpet stuff that I don't even know what that is. Yeah. It's a poisonous plant. Oh. It's a fairly popular for gardening because it looks very pretty and smells really nice, but if you eat it, you get you get violent and violent highs. Yikes. So generally, don't eat flowers. Is the <laughs> I mean, who would eat yes. flowers? Yes. That they find off the ground. Yes. yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. When people grow, it, it, it happens quite a bit actually. When people grow daychura or uh, double trumpet or angel's trumpet, usually they get. Usually they have to cut out. The, they have to get remove all the seeds when they appear because teenagers will try to steal steal them. That's kind of sad, don't you think? Yeah, it is. That being unre totally unrelated, but there's there's a thi there's a there's I found online there's a website that sells mad honey. Mad honey. There's the mad honey. there's a yeah there's a certain plant of uh, of the rhododendron genus. Okay. Right, it's nectar. Its pollen is incredibly poisonous to mammals. Right. And so, in history, there's been many times where people took honey made from this pollen and used it to poison pe cities. Lovely! Uh, right? So, so, now there's this, so now there's this website which is trying to sell this honey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's not going to go horribly wrong. So they're like, you can get high off of this shit, trust me, a hundred dollars a jar. Dark web? <laughs> is this dark web? No, it's totally legit web. Oh god. Oh, god. Totally legit web. How long until they get shut down? Probably not, cause they have they have the warning signs on the jar. <laughs> uh, 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 only one tablespoon a day <laughs> of honey, hundred dollars. <laughs> it's fifty dollars for the pint jar, I think. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's a rare tank. Oh boy, That's it's gonna crazy. be fun coming back to these games after like ten weeks, yep. not remembering a single thing about it. Yep. And then Captain goes straight to the final boss. Yep. Isn't that exciting, uh -huh. kids? Yeah, it's gonna be even yeah. better with TMS because we don't even know what we've been doing. We I've already forgotten what we did. <laughs> okay. I've forgotten everything already. I was, I was drunk doing that, so like, no, that's you, my excuse. Oh wait, yes you were. <laughs> I was drinking. Yes, you were. You had wine. <laughs> God damn yeah, it. Yeah. So now we're just, we're just gonna be like, what's going on? Who is this person? Why are we playing a Japanese game that isn't Sophie? And the answer will always be the same because someone decided it would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I decided. can't believe it. I can't believe it's not Sophie. Uh, I, I like my college friend's reaction to me uploading the first episode of TMS. It's like, you know, my day was going great, and then I saw this got uploaded. I like, I like, remind, reminded that this game exists. They ruined it! <laughs> Absolutely ruined it! I think we need an intervention. <laughs> this is the same guy who questioned why we tortured ourselves with Artanelka. Artanelka was... Artemoga was is the type of funny bad. It's like Plan 9 to Outer Space. And it, and it actually became decent at the end. And it gave way to a bunch of inside jokes for us. That was just a that was just legendary. That's the type that's the type of game you play as a joke on your friends and then ha and then actually enjoy it at the end. It's like watching a bad movie. We need to watch more bad movies. No, ba not bad anime though. Bad anime is just plain miserable. <laughs> Damn, what I'd ask you to define bad, but then I remembered. Oh wait, it's subjective. It's subjective, and it's also anime. 
Eh, there's probably some good anime to someone. Some good anime. Once in a while, out of the 120 that they keep making every year. Well, then it likely depends on the group who made the thing. I mean, at least at least for anime, you get 120 anime per season. In in the U.S., it's the five, and they have 11 season 11 seasons each for cartoons. And then you get bogged down with stuff like Steven Universe not making sense, or the Thundercats War thing that everyone got mad about for some reason. <laughs> I'm unaware of this. Okay, a while back there was a promo. There was a promo for Thundercats War. Okay. Basically, you know what Thundercats is, right? Yes. Me neither. But apparently, everyone else had everyone else had feelings for Thundercats. I mean, I know it exists, but reason. that's about it. It is. It is the Thundercats is the one '70s cartoon that no one cared about. <laughs> no one cared about it at all. Right? It had a it had a little like it had a revival in in two thousand seven I think. Two thousand seven, two thousand eleven. Oh that was solid. Right? Two thousand seven, two thousand eleven had a little bit of a revival, but everyone but no but still nobody watched it because it looked too much like Avatar. Oh people were getting tired of the anime style of, of cartoons. As they should be, but I mean, come on. I kind of like that style. I, I don't like. I don't dislike anime as a style. I just hate what e everything, what everyone does with it. So basically, you hate the cliches. Basically, not even just the cliches. Just that people aren't being imaginative with it, which which well, technically what... means tech cliche. But I have my own definitions of things. Okay. Random. Conform to standards. Damn it. I am an art person. Hear me roar. Thunder cats. For... Anyway. Um, <laughs> So no, so no one gave a shit about Thundercats for the entirety of its existence until when Thundercats War came out, and everyone got pissed at it because it looks like because it looks like Steven Universe. Because you know how you know how cartoons look now because of Adventure Time, which has ended. It, yeah, Adventure Time has ended too. Right, that's true. I did I didn't get to watch that because I've been too busy with my life. I hadn't watched Adventure Time in some times. So like, so I saw bits of them like. Things have changed. Yeah, I mean... Oh god, when did was, everything happen? There were, uh, probably b between seasons 1 and 11. <laughs> Somewhere in that range. Seasons. Somewhere in that range. <laughs> there we go. I don't remember when I stopped watching, but it was somewhere at some point. Yeah, somewhere at some point. Majestic. <laughs> I haven't been able to watch a lot of cartoons like ever. Like, ever since, like, in 2006, we decided to not have a TV anymore, right? So we couldn't watch the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl cartoon oh. anymore. <laughs> English dub anymore. But that was fine, we survived without it. And then, ever since then, I've never been able to watch anything. I mean, I could, but I just don't care enough these days. Yep. Kind of in the same boat. Yeah. Most of my time's been spent up doing school stuff. Yeah. Dev work or browsing the net for some reason. Yeah. So by the way, it's pretty much the same here. So real quick, I just I just finished getting buying everything that we can for the ship. Oh. So we got the skill skill point for for the ship, which leaves the nanotech one and the weapons one. Weapon one. Oh boy. So. Uh. <laughs> So the thing, so this one, so the thing that costed, that costed 40, 40, uh, 60, 60, my, 60, uh, rare titanium to buy is this neat little thing called a nuke. You press the circle button and everyone dies. <laughs> if you didn't, if you didn't catch that earlier, notice the, notice the number at the bottom left corner of the screen. Oh, <laughs> that's it. You, you, you killed the game. You, it's over. You killed her. So you, you did a mass genocide. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a glitch that you can, that you, there's a glitch that is used in the uh, any per, uh, any percent new game plus run of this game. If you restart as soon as the nuke deaths. It missed. Huh. 
If you restart, if you restart this challenge as soon as the neck nuke deaths, uh, you can you can skip the fit. You can skip the phase. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to get it. No. No. Oh, are you trying to? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. The I idea is that the idea is that you shoot the nuke, right? Kill everyone, kill everyone, right? And when you and the, when the next rave comes, you have a free nuke, so you oh. can just nuke the so you can just nuke the nuke the game twice. Oh, do you only get one nuke? You only get one nuke. No, no. Oh, this might look good. <laughs> and then you nuke it again. <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, that's about it. And now last, this is the last plan of the game. Uh, Eudel. I guess we can go through a bit of it now. Get the hypnomatic part out of the way. But we, we already have the hypnomatic part. Oh, the hypnomatic section of the area. Oh. Is what I mean to say. I'm sorry, I English bad. <laughs> well, I mean, English is a cursed language. Yes. Especially in the U.S. Yes, definitely in the U.S. Anyway, once we get there, I think we can have a teleport into the factory. I don't know. We'll have to see. I have no damn idea. Anyway, so you know what to do. Ah. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. Camera. Well, first. Yes. There we go. So this, so there's a, so this is Platinum Bolt right at the beginning. You just saw, you can just, you could see it on the screen over there for a second. Well, right now I'm too busy destroying things. Yes. You know. Yes. That's important. Yes, that's the most important. So no, you could have, you, 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 you saw the Platinum Bolt earlier, right? If not, that's fine. No, it was just there. Left bit. Left. Left, right, left. There he is. <laughs> so, what's your guess on to getting it? Uh. Good question. <laughs> this is fairly creative. I like. I kind of like this plan and pull. No. Come on. There we go. Alright. And then you fell off and died. Now try again a bit better this time. <laughs> Take your anger out on some land parts. Always acceptable. You served it. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> well, now you tell me! <laughs> I thought it was okay. I was wrong. All right. Well, at least you know what to do now, right? You heard that sound for a, for a half a second, correct? Now you tell me. That's fine. Whee! And you got hit. <laughs> worth it. Yes, it's always worth it. So now there's only one platinum bolt left in the game. Well, at the first, very end of this planet. I'm gonna take out some anger. Yes. I'm angry. Angry. Mass explode tub man coat. <laughs> if you're truly angry, you would use a nuke. <laughs> it's on our ship. We can't. We can't exactly take it off of our ship. <laughs> you have to game to do it. If you're truly angry. No, I'm only regular angry. <laughs> Anything. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the place. So there's a, so this is the hypnomatic section of the uh, of the planet at the very beginning, and now we can forget about it. There's two. There's two places you need to use this, and then that's it. No more. Trust me. Whee! Ah! 
receiver bot can hypnotize other robots. To hypnotize another no. robot, aim, then press circle. Yep. Button. Photo pets. Shoot McDive kill. I think you got him, sir. Oh. Did I won? I think so, but now you got in progress. Alright, now that you've come here, now what? Oh, no. Mm. Dead. I think there was a oh, there was a hypno thing you can do at the second bot. It's been a while since I played the game though, so I don't know. And I hate and I, hit, and I hate the hypnomatic sets sections with a passion. Oh, he's over there. Whee! Frick you! Myself? Without the thing on my head? Aha! Robot racism! Yeah! I think you got them. Now you're killing the guy you need to hypnotize. There you go! You kill- okay, never mind. Shoot it, guys. Prototype murder. Regular people murder. Prototype and regular people murder. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Go, go, go! <laughs> now you get this thing. So now you can use all your weapons and your wrench with no shame at all whatsoever. Hmm. What to do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Too bad. What do I do with all these choices? <laughs> There's too many choices. I don't like this. I don't like having freedoms. Go back to China anyway. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I wouldn't think. I don't think it can break. Just walk up to it. Your shield will take care of them. <laughs> oh. Remember, our shield is our shield is very cool now. You can you can even say it's amazing. Oh, there go. Oh God, that's a tank. You just walk straight up to it. Why? I guess you're taking out the shield, maybe. Yeah. It worked. All right. Wait, it works. Holy shit, what? <laughs> Don't forget that you also have something that shoots five mines at a thing. <laughs> nah, kill it with shield. Kill it with the shield. No, my god, you're crazy. The madman, actually. <laughs> Didn't the you... actual madman. <laughs> Didn't you know I'm that one kid? Oh my god. I'm the one guy no one knows what to do with. Watch out, he's crazy. <laughs> Oh, there's one guy over there. You can tell he's dangerous because he's colored red. And he died. Well, that yep. happened. That happened. There's nothing. No. They're all dead. Actually, we might be able to get... Uh, actually, we might be able to beat this planet and then save before the boss. Where do I go? And then, so for the next episode, we just start at the boss and then try to get the last two skill points. Where, do, you, where do I go? You, you can, it's behind you. Oh, this tiny area? No, 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 no. It's more obvious. It's called jumping. You think it's best to just leave a hang at that? Behind, behind you. You see those crates over there? You can jump uh, to get. Oh. You can Ooh. jump to get them. So here's a whole bunch of tanks. Wow. You know what I do with with those? Avoid the, avoid them shooting you and not fall off the edge, correct? I think you actually hit them. <laughs> yeah, you got one of them. 